Okay, we're going to find this derivative using implicit differentiation. On this one, because we have a function within another function, we're have to, going to have to start out with the chain rule to go with this. So the chain rule says we're going to work with the outer function and its derivative first. So that 4 from the exponent is going to come down. We're going to copy down everything on the inside just as it is. Then we're going to reduce the exponent by 1. So 4 minus 1 makes 3 for our new exponent. But then next to this, we're going to have to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So remember, implicit differentiation, we're taking the derivative with respect to x on each one of these inner um, pieces, inner terms. So the derivative of 3x squared is going to work out to be 6x to the first power. Um, but our variable was x, so we don't really need a dx over dx with this. All right, next, we're going to add derivative of 2y to the third power is going to be 6 y to the second power, just using the power rule there. But remember, our variable was y. We just took a derivative with respect to x, so we need a dy dx with this piece. Derivative on the right-hand side, we have a nice constant there. Derivative of 2 is going to be 0. All right, next up, well, we've got a little bit of solving down to do. Our end result is we want to have that um, dy dx on one side by itself. Well, I noticed, first of all, that it is connected with everything out in front here is connected with a multiplication. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to eliminate that, move it to the other side by using a division. And really, it's this entire side and this entire side. We're dividing by all of that first bit. All right, but you're going to notice on the right-hand side that when we have 0 in the numerator, 0 divided by anything is really just going to result in 0. So we really have 6x plus 6y squared with our dy dx over on the left-hand side. And we have 0 on the right-hand side because all of this canceled out with all of this, and 0 divided by anything on the right-hand side is going to result in 0. So that makes this a much easier equation to solve down. The next step I would do is go ahead and move that 6x to the other side by subtracting it. 6x minus 6x makes 0x's. We'll still have 6y squared times dy dx on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, now we end up with negative 6x, 0 minus 6x. And to wrap this one up, we're going to isolate the dy dx by dividing both sides by 6y squared. Because it was connected with multiplication on the left-hand side. So that'll reduce down and just give us dy dx, or some people prefer y prime for notation purposes. And over on the right-hand side, the most simplified down answer we can get, we have a 6 in the numerator, 6 in the denominator. That'll make a 1. So we'll end up with a negative that can either be in the numerator with the x or out in front with everything or in the denominator with y squared. But you have to choose one place, not more than one place. So that's our derivative with respect to x, um, negative x over y squared. Hope this helps out. Good luck.